Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm meal prepping right now. It's Sunday. I'm home from work. It was a good day. But I'm hot as hell. I got my oven on. You know my spot only so big. So yeah. I'm kinda sweaty. But um I'm meal prepping for this week. I'm back on the meal prep because you know I get off at a time where I don't want to worry about food when I get home. I just want to come home, relax, and pull something out of the refrigerator, heat it up in the microwave, and eat it. That's where I am. And on my downtime, I'll be doing my workout. So, I got my um, my ground turkey. I got a one-fourth cup, one one cup of rice. Seasoned with some um, Goya, the chicken pollo stuff. That's why it looks yellow. But it's seasoned with some um, base. And I mixed the, the um, ground turkey with some mixed vegetables, some salsa, and some tomato paste. And let that just render down. And in the oven, I have roasting some zucchini squash with some red onion. What's my. Oh, hold on. I'll be racking right up my. Um, I gotta get my, my kitchen towelettes. They should be almost done, but I put, I put them back in because I didn't think they were cooked enough for me to my liking. Let's see how they look now. No, they're still not red enough to me, but there it is. That's zucchini and red onion, seasoned with no salt seasoning, garlic powder, olive oil, and a little bit. That's it. I don't put anything else. Excuse the, the brownness, but I've been cooking a lot. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to give these maybe, maybe 20 more minutes, and that's going to be it. But yeah, it's Sunday. It's kind of hot, but it is one of those. I did six hours of work. So now I'm home and sweating my ass off. I didn't go to the gym. Let's get rid of the rain. I feel like if I went to the gym, I went yesterday and I went, I went Saturday and I went Friday. So I'm thinking if I would have gone today, I don't want to do seven days a week because during the week I'm going to go every day. So I want to give my body a break, let it rest, recuperate, and just enjoy itself. So yeah. Okay, these look ready. I'm gonna toss them up and place them in the meal prep containers. Meal prep is done. It's only four of them because today I'm gonna have something else. My sister's cooking, so I'm either gonna eat what she cooked or I'll find something else to eat. I don't wanna eat the same thing every day. I'm kinda, you know, have a variety. But this is for four days, for dinner only. For lunch, I'm doing a wrap. And maybe later on the week I'll show you how I make that. But yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Hey there. I know it's been a minute. Welcome to Countess Forever. This is the first, um, I guess the first check in since school has started. In our county, anyway. I live in Pinellas County. So I'm back at work. And I can't say the first week was different you know with us sanitizing after the students unload and um, always mask on when the kids are present or around us the kids are social distancing very well on my bus on my route anyway um, I only allow two two students to a seat they're supposed to sit they're, they're supposed to seat every other seat but they really don't as long as they have their mask on and it's just two people in a seat I guess they're okay but what I've been up to is the norm today is Sunday so you know I work on you know, my caregiving today that was 8 30 to 2 
So I'm gonna recap because I don't know the, the last time I really talked to you. I'm looking at my planner. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I I went to the I, I I'm back at the gym. So I worked out Saturday. I took off Sunday. I went Monday of this week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I took off Friday. I took off Saturday, which was yesterday. Yesterday I got up and I did some linen laundry. When I had my um, I told them I was repolished instead of a full pedicure. Look into that, ladies. If you don't want to full the, if you don't want to spend the full pedicure price and you are kind of on a budget, just have them change your polish. Your feet still look good if you if you're going to get pedicures on a regular basis and your polish is chipped and you don't want to really deal with or if you have gel polish just have them change the polish that's what i went ahead and done and i got a chance to enjoy the massage chair the same way the same way as you're getting a pedicure you still get that massage chair but for like 15 dollars less than what you would normally pay and what else i got oh i did my hair yesterday you see that i made a big mistake with my hair the crochet that I had, I underestimated where I, where I stopped the braiding process and I cut a big chunk off of this side in the top, the middle crown of my head, some of this side. So my hair is like all different lengths. My first thought was to do another big chop. Just cut it all off like I have done several times and start over fresh. But my daughter-in-law, she was like, no, don't do that. Don't do it. She said, just, you can add some hair to this side. And I can, you know, kind of like a feed, but not a feed. And she braided it down to the scalp with um, the braid hair. This is straight Caniculon braid hair. She added like, maybe, she did the whole top of this that way. And the back was, the back is still long enough for me to grip and braid down. That's what I did. I did the back, she did this part of him with um, the Caniculon braid hair. And she said, like, don't cut it, don't cut it, just, Keep it braided down, you know. Keep doing treating your scalp and everything like you're doing, and just let it grow. And then when you when it, this side gets to a length that's desirable, then cut the rest of it to kind of be even with all over. I was like, you know what? I, okay, I can. But I was gonna TW, get a TWA. I was gonna bit chop it and color it and go back platinum. That's what that's what I was gonna do. But I was like, you know, she taught me out of it. I was like, all right, I'm I'm, I'm gonna just continue to let my girl hair grow because my hair is like right here now. And I big chopped it a year ago. And it's already growing. I cut all this off by mistake. I was taking my hair down, sitting in this chair, not looking in the mirror, and just cutting the crochet out. And not realizing I cut a whole two braids off. Thinking it was crochet hair. And it had came unraveled from where I had it crochet interlocking with another braid that was braided down to the scalp. Unrealizing, not realizing that it had came undone. And chopped it thinking it was crochet hair that is what it did so warning if you ain't familiar with all that um, um take your head down in the mirror looking at it i'm just saying and what else did i do i did i did the sheets i didn't work today i went to work oh last night which was saturday i did a meal prep for not for me for my son and his family because you know he has a big family so I, it was in my heart to just prepare of a dinner, a cater a dinner to, for him and his family and his wife. He has eight children, two, six live with him. So I, I made two big pans, two family size pans of meatloaf, a family size pan of cabbage, and a family size pan of scalloped potatoes mixed with our gratin potatoes. And I cooked all that, took it over there to him and his, and his children and his wife. and. He served them all dinner. I sat there and ate with him for a little while until the ring kind of slacked up so I could leave. That's what I did. I, I, I cooked it last night, prepared it last night. I took it over there tomorrow, this morning. Can I talk so it can make sense? Oh my goodness. After I got off work, I took, I loaded it all up in a car and took it over there to him. And they all ate dinner, it was nice. I didn't, I didn't prepare dessert, that's on them. They can do what they want for dessert probably I don't know but I'm not really big on dessert I don't do dessert a lot but anyway I hope y'all can hear me because I'm, I'm talking kind of low but um that was all I've done 
today. I was gonna meal prep for myself <clears throat> for the week, but I'm not. I'll find something because I don't really do a lot when I get up work because I work. Um, I clock out before 5:30 p.m. during the week. And when I get home, I'm not really tired. I just don't want to worry about damn it's like I find something quick. I don't know what, but that's all I've been doing so far. Back in the gym working out. My workout consists of maybe like 10 minutes on the elliptical. I was so out of shape and just exhausted. I used to could do 45 minutes, almost an hour on the elliptical with no problem. Just getting it. I went back in the gym. I was tired of three minutes. <laughs> now mind you, I have not just been sitting on my ass. I've been, you know, we've been going to the park, walking around the park almost daily, two, three miles a day. But evidently that wasn't enough because when I hopped my ass back on that elliptical, it was a whole nother level again. So I'm building myself back up. So now I'm doing the elliptical for maybe five to 10 minutes, maybe 15. Then I do the stationary bike for 10 minutes because I'm not a big fan of that, but I know it's good, it's good physical therapy for the total body. It, it looks basic, it's old. Bicycle riding is, some people might think like, ew, but the bicycle riding does the job. My battery finna die, so I'm gonna cut this short. And the rest of the time it's just strength training throughout the whole gym. I, I don't have a certain day for legs, I don't have a certain day for back, I don't have a certain day for arms and upper body. I do all, whatever I look at and I feel like, okay, I'm, my body needs that, I go do that machine. That's how I do mine. And it's been working for me. I'm, you know, it's just, I'm not really trying to lose weight, I'm just trying to make myself better. You know, I've lost the weight. So I'm gonna do an update and tell you exactly where I am right now, but not just yet, because I don't think that's the most important. The most important thing is health, strength, and it's good for your um, joints. Men that I'm 50 over 40, and osteoporosis, we kind of you know, trying, we have to defeat that. We gotta stay mobile, and strength training is very important, especially for women, 40 and above. You have to start incorporating some kind of weightlifting. It doesn't have to be like, you like weight lifting but some kind of like 10 pounds 12 ounces at least three times a week not ounces pounds that you're lifting in a routine at least three times a week i think just to just to stay where you should be physically because we break down when we get older it's sad to say things change but to kind of like you know not actually defeat it but and not enhance it but just to um coincide with it not make it so difficult. We gotta do something that kind of strengthens what's trying to break down, kind of slow the process a little bit. And just, you know, stay active, stay youthful, and just, yeah, fit, you know, healthier, that's all. But yeah, that's all I've been doing. Now I'm sitting here watching some recorded on my DVR, Cooking Network stuff. And, and it's raining outside, it's so nice. Thunder is so nice. But thank y'all for watching. Thank you for tuning in to this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload. It's very important that you know when I upload if you're interested. And you'll see me in my next video, my next vlog. And hopefully you'll be talking to me sooner than what you think you are. Blessings and miracles.